Mark, a collective wow came out of the newsroom uh, when we saw this story cross here. I mean, this is a, a project that the company's been working on for, for a decade at this point. What do we know about Apple's electric car plans? Yeah, so Apple uh, this morning officially canceled work on a self-driving electric car. Jeff Williams, the company's chief operating officer, and Kevin Lynch, the company's vice president of technology, uh, who was foremost in charge of the car project, announced to the team, it's about 2,000 people, that the project, called Titan internally, is winding down. There will be layoffs of some hardware people. Hardware people will have the opportunity to apply to other teams. Other people working on the project are being shifted to Apple's AI and machine learning division to work on generative AI products a key future component of the company. There will, some, there will, some, there will be some people move to the Vision Pro uh, as well with that focus on spatial computing. Uh, but this is a bombshell development. This is a very rare retreat for Apple. This is a project that they've invested over $10 billion in. They've worked on it for over 10 years. It's had many fits and starts. It's had many directional changes. About a month ago, we reported that Apple had reached a make or break point for the car project. We reported that the latest incarnation of the project after several meetings with the company's board of directors was a new budget around a level two plus car. That was a downgrade from the original vision of a level four or a level five fully autonomous vehicle. And they also pushed back and delayed that. Uh, since then, there have been more discussions and executives made the, the final decision uh, earlier this month, I'm told, to completely shutter the project. So again, this is Apple canceling work on an electric car. This is a significant development for one of the company's most ambitious attempts at a new product category in its history. Uh, so this is a very significant uh, day for the company. Yeah, very significant. It's not like it's just, you know, an idea on the back of a napkin. I mean, they had been pursuing, as you said, Mark, for over 10 years. The road was rough, though, in, it, in Apple's pursuit in terms of bringing a car to market. I mean, you know this company, for them to step up, the amount of time, money, people, effort that they have put into something like this, um, I don't know, how do you get your head around it? Does it mean just completely done? Does it mean that they could buy into something in the future, or they're just saying, this isn't a market for us. Certainly, uh, there are considerations on the table to acquire an existing car maker. Uh, obviously, you've seen what's happened in the car industry lately. Rivian has not been doing uh, so hot. Uh, you've seen other car companies struggling, Lucid being one. Tesla has had its own ups and downs. It's a very, very thin profit margin business. It's not the typical business that Apple likes to get into. But there is some risk in abandoning this project. What if Alphabet, Google, Waymo, Amazon with Zook, some of these other big technology companies, certainly the, the Chinese uh, phone makers, they're all getting into cars. What if one of these companies comes up with a great car idea one day and successfully creates a new ecosystem of its own uh, to rival Apple's and they can risk pulling people away from Apple into a Google car or an Amazon car and getting them on their other products in the ecosystem. So there's certainly some very long-term risk here, uh, but in the short term, um, this may be a good thing for Apple being able to focus resources towards perhaps more promising areas in the short term like spatial computing and generative artificial intelligence. Well, that's exactly where I wanted to go with you next, Mark. To you, is this more about Apple saying no to a car and less about Apple focusing resources on AI, or is it the other way around here? Is it all about Apple saying, wait a second, the rise in interest in generative AI over the last 18 months has just been massive, and we need to go all in on this, such that we need to actually cancel our work on the car in order to do that? It's certainly not, not the latter, uh, Tim. This is Apple making a decision to wind down the car project because they weren't getting anywhere. Mm -hmm. It kept getting delayed. It kept getting more expensive. They have uh, these hundreds and thousands of employees uh, that are brilliant people and we have places for them. Generative AI is a key area. Let's throw them there. There's a lot of artificial intelligence, machine learning overlap uh, between work on an autonomous vehicle and what needs to be done for the future of AI on phones and watches and, and earbuds and glasses and such. So it makes sense to reallocate those resources. But don't be mistaken, this is a decision all about canceling the car. They just happen to have an excellent soft landing uh, for the resources that have been in, in 
invested in the vehicle project. Okay, so if you're an investor in Apple and you're saying to yourself, I'm a little concerned about the decline in iPhone sales in China, I'm a little concerned about the traditional Apple products being long in the tooth here, I don't necessarily see promise, at least right now in spatial computing, Mark. What is there on the horizon for these investors to get excited about? Because I think on a lot of minds have been, okay, well, at least Apple's working on a car here and that'll be out at some point. Certainly the uh, Vision Pro is something that Apple is focused on. That is a big new category for them. Uh, and certainly generative AI, AirPods with cameras is something I wrote about, the eventual debut of augmented reality glasses. Uh, there are certainly you know, other things on the roadmap that could be exciting, uh, but nothing that would drive as much immediate revenue as a hundred grand car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talk about it, right? That really moves the needle. Um, it's a woe moment, as we say, but another exclusive by you, Mark, um, that's really got everybody kind of rethinking some of the of what Apple's doing in the future. Uh, it's just a really, really big deal. I will say Apple's share is still up about half a percent, but nonetheless, um, really interesting when it comes to Apple's strategy. Mark, thanks so much for, for jumping in and telling us about uh, your exclusive.